Padawan. I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a calm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders, and a force user armed with a lightsaber. It must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you alright? Don't worry about me. I admire your composure, but have you truly searched your feelings about this? Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. The man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest. And take this. The code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the Council Chambers. I searched the temple archives. This force user leading the Flesh Raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. The enemy I faced wanted to destroy the Jedi Order. Can't get much darker than that. Well, that brightened up the room. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The Temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. I think you've been misinformed. We clearly underestimated the natives. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it with the help of my new Padawan. 
Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. It will be a privilege. Don't get too excited. You're in for some hard work. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. I'd rather do something about problems than discuss them. Still, there are times when talking is exactly what's needed. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I get the impression you haven't had a Padawan for years. Why did you ask to train me? As Jedi, you learn to trust your instincts. When I met you in that cave, my instincts told me that I was meant to train you. I don't know why or for what purpose, but the Living Force brought us together for a reason. You think the Force is alive? That it wants something from us? Want is too strong a word. Let's just say we'll accomplish more together than by ourselves. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally, but frankly, we need them. The Republic shouldn't be telling the Jedi what to do. Forgot how impressionable Padawans can be. Remember, Jedi exist to serve the Republic, even when we disagree. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. Anything you can tell me about the Twi'lek leader? Where it is, she's not our biggest fan. You may have to convince her otherwise. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Glad to share my skills with someone talented.
You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgus Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deign to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. We didn't realize how great a threat the Flesh Raiders had become. And now you seek help from the people you once ignored. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watched them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered, but only if you agree to protect my people. We... we suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. The matriarch appears sick. Does she need a doctor? Thank you, but we have our own healers. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... Other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Removing that technology will neutralize the Flesh Raiders. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. This village is vulnerable to attack. You need better defenses. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Come over here, Jedi, and spare a moment for a humble servant of the Matriarch. I promise, your other dealings will wait. My name is Vidariot Aeon. I minister to the bodies and spirits of the villagers, and I have a request. I speak of the Flesh Raiders. Of late, we've seen them growing stronger, and I know why. You have my complete attention. The Flesh Raiders have been experimenting, concocting an elixir that makes them ravenous. The ones who drink it go mad. Their lips froth, and they pounce like starving animals. It's black medicine, primitive and evil. How can we be certain this is true? One of our warriors was captured by the Raiders. He escaped and told me what he learned as I tended his wounds. We lack the numbers to attack the Flesh Raiders directly, and not even the Jedi could wipe the monsters from this world. But with our warriors' help, the Jedi could reach the Flesh Raider caves and destroy their vats of elixir. Then count me in. 
Thank you for this. Odemus Mare knows where the vats are hidden. He is our guard captain. Talk to him to learn the raiders' secrets. More young Jedi in Kalakori, I see. I am Yulaf Fon, Master of Rituals. I welcome you. You wish to participate in the ceremony, I presume? You understand the dangers? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You've not been told, then. I apologize. Many of your brethren, your Padawans, come to Kalakori to perform our rite of passage. Those who endure the ceremony are awarded an audience with Kolovish to receive her wisdom and her gifts. Why would Jedi participate in pilgrim rituals? To prove their strength, to gain rewards, to show friendship. Kolovish lives in the mountains above, once our leader. Now she is our guide and protector. To complete the ceremony, you must walk the thousand steps to her home. You must carry a burning brand and light the signals along the path. You must protect the flame from beasts and flesh raiders. This will prove your worth. If you wish, I will ignite the brand. It burns only a short while. But if you are deserving, it will be enough. I'm ready to carry the flame. Then go, and light each of the signal fires along the mountain path. When you reach the end, you will find Kolovish.
perform the rite of the pilgrims well, Jedi. I saw the signal fires as you climbed the path. Very few of your kind make it this far. I am Kalovish, first matriarch and reader of the ancient texts. I led our people to this planet, and I welcome you. You're the reason the pilgrims came to Tython? My teachings angered our rulers. They spurned our lifestyle and refused to recognize the authority of the matriarchs. On Tython, we found we could practice our ways in peace. Even the flesh raiders can't destroy our society. Not forever. Now you've completed the ritual, and you are friend to the pilgrims. You share our burdens, and you share our strength. I'm tremendously honored. Take these gifts. We have very little, as you must know. But you are Jedi. You share our world, and you face a difficult future. I'm here to help. Is there anything I can do? Remember us, and remember our ways. Go to your duties now, and as we part, know that my blessings go with you. late Jedi, like all the other times. The flesh raiders already came. They already took their victims. My father knew these mountains. He helped guide the patrols when he could. But when the flesh raiders appeared, he never made it home. He wasn't young, but he deserves better than to be ripped apart. Show compassion, Jedi. Find him, and kill any raiders who'd stop you. Do everything I can to find your father. Be well then, but more important, be quick. Please, if you find him, if he's hurt or confused, you'll know him by his golden promise ring. He wouldn't part with it, not until death. Stand by for examination and suggested products. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Jedi, I think I know what you've been doing. Vidaria sent you to speak with me. She told you about the Flesh Raider elixir, didn't she? How it makes the Flesh Raiders strong. vidaria has been looking for a way to destroy the elixir, but she's making a terrible mistake. We shouldn't destroy the elixir. We need it. And I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. What exactly are your intentions? The elixir can make our guardsmen strong. Yes, it may change them, but it will work. We can defend our village and destroy our foes. Imagine, if the elixir can make a flesh raider powerful, what would it do for a pilgrim warrior? Bring it to me, and you will be rewarded praised I won't help you feed the elixir to the pilgrims fine obey the orders of an old woman and destroy the elixir but pilgrim blood is on your hands the elixir is in the caves beyond our village 
I doubt Jedi can even come close to the vats. Me. Oh, Matriarch, forgive me! The Flesh Raiders are here. I can't fight them. The patrol is too far away. I can't... Goodbye, my son. My Matriarch. Goodbye.
Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. What made the Flesh Raiders bring you back here? Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway.
Jedi, you're back. What happened out there? Where's my father? He's at peace now. I brought you his ring. This is all that's left of him? Those monsters. Tell me you cut them into pieces for what they did. I went out there to save a man's life, not to satisfy your thirst for blood. So you let those monsters live? I should be grateful to you for finding out the truth, but you desecrate my father's memory. Jedi fight for peace, not to kill. So far as I can see, Jedi fight for nothing. Leave me to grieve. We won't speak again. look well, Jedi. I'm glad the Flesh Raiders didn't hurt you. Did you destroy the Dark Elixir? I've done as you wished. You've rid the world of an evil thing. The Flesh Raiders may brew their Dark Elixir again, but we won't make it easy. I am grateful for what you've done. Take this gift with my blessing. For now, I leave you in peace. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her! I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten! No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi! My wife is dead! Our people slaughtered! Where were you then? Nothing I say will ever make you feel whole again. But we truly are doing everything we can. What about exterminating those animals? The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? I won't quit until the Flesh Raiders are defeated. That's a promise. We'll see what a Jedi's promise is worth. I hope you can fulfill that pledge. I fear he won't take disappointment well. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. T7 was captured by the Flesh Raiders. You'll want to see the holo recording he made. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. Jedi have a duty to protect and defend others. And we promise to share our knowledge in return for that duty. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi Temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo, I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. I'll hold the line until reinforcements arrive, Master. If you see that hooded figure from the holo, do not engage him. I get going.
Anything a soldier needs, and some things he doesn't. Look out there. Thank <laughs> you. 